What is up, everybody? The biggest fight for me is happening tomorrow. Khabib versus Gaethje. Who's going to win? You know, it's crazy. Everyone calls me and asks me who they believe is going to win. And I just want to say I'm gonna, on a four-week or four-event streak on the co and main event. But right now, I don't care about the rest of the card. I care about the main event. Gaethje, Khabib. I train with them both and learn so much from them both. It is ridiculous. But I'm going to give my in-depth analysis on who I believe is going to win both Skill-wise, physically, and mentally. And I believe that second part, a lot of people are not looking at for this one. It's been such a crazy year for both, but here's my in-depth analysis on who I believe is going to win between Khabib versus Justin Gaethje. Check it out. Again, this is another episode of Inside Team Shorty where I give the reality, the truth, and everything behind the scenes of the sport of MMA. This is my first, at least on this series, in-depth analysis of who I believe is going to win this main event. Again, I don't care about who's on the rest of the card. Like, it's that good of a fight. Khabib Gage, he's literally the best two guys in the world in my eyes. I've, I've trained with them both, and I look up to them so much. This is a crazy thing. And you know what? Before I even get to that, yes, I am filming in my car. Why? Because my day's been shit. I've literally been trying to film this all day at different places quiet places and somehow nothing has worked out i honestly believe like i parked all the way in the back of a parking lot so i can make it as quiet as possible literally if you guys can see my light is right next to me i'm trying to be like i'm doing this for you guys because so many people ask me i gotta get this straight again so many people ask me who do who do you think is gonna win i'm on a four fight streak i've been calling all the cold mains I'm, I'm i'm this has been dope but man i, I have so many reasonings or reasons, reasons, reasoning, reasons behind this. And let's look at the skill set. Both of them phenomenal fighters. This is a striker versus grappler. I don't care if Gaethje has Division One, even national championship level wrestling. He is Division One wrestler. But Khabib does this all day. This is his sport. And he's even stated that if Khabib gets him on the fence, he's going to lose this fight. But man, Gaethje's just an animal. I think I, the record, will, or excuse me, he's only been on the floor, at least in the UFC from what I know, 17 seconds. Like his butt's only hit the mat and he's gotten right back up. And he's even fallen by himself. So this might, this fight might be a little, little hard. But you look at Khabib, man, his stand-up has gotten so much better when it comes to setting up. He's not a brawler like Gaethje. He's not one of those guys that loves a fight. Yes, he enjoys the brawl. He, he enjoys some of the, you know, the, the times he has, him, especially against Conor. But I believe that was a very emotional fight. This one's a little different, man. When Khabib throws punches, he picks his shots. Whether he's trying to land that big overhand right after faking a shot or he's setting up his shots or going boop, 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 and then going for that takedown. So, man, he he's really well diverse at mixing up his strikes to get someone on the back of the fence you know or his back to the fence and he's pushing 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 and once he gets someone to the fence man he takes him down no problem again he's fought so many people even high level wrestlers knowing that the takedown's coming but every single takedown has been different you never see Khabib yeah he starts off the same thing double clinch yada 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 then he mixes it up with sweeps single legs dumps high cry all these different things and he's just, he's phenomenal at it. And his Sambo style has really helped him out for this game when it comes to taking someone down and beating the living crap out of him. And even mocking him or talking to them. I won't even say mocking him, unless it's Connor. Literally going, hey man, you know I deserve this fight. I deserve the title shot. I deserve to be champ, whatever the case may be. And it's, it's, he's so phenomenal at it. And I do believe if he gets Gaethje down, he might be able to hold Gaethje down, but I just don't believe it's going to happen the first time. You look at the fight between Ally Quinta. Yes, he wasn't getting ready for that opponent, but Ally Quinta barely was on the ground for that five-round uh, five fight, and he lasted the entire way through. Yes, Khabib got a little overconfident with the stand-up, and he was fine that way, and he was able to win the fight on the feet, and it shows that Khabib's stand up's getting really good, but Gaethje's, man, is just at another level, especially in that brawl, especially in that inside game. <sighs> you look at some of the fights when Gaethje first entered the UFC, he was a brawler and kind of a sloppy brawler. Yeah, tough as hell, but a sloppy brawler. But then after that, he started to adapt. He started to get better. He started to really listen to his coach, Trevor Whitman. And that guy, I just want to say, side note, Trevor Whitman, Trevor Whitman will make you believe you can fly. Like, that's how motivating and inspirational he is. He's a phenomenal person. I'm, I'm so lucky to have been coached by him before. But Gaethje, he just, he just pushes forward. And when... 
you know, Trevor says something, he listens, he takes it all in. And then his stand-up starts to change. So right now, especially that Tony Ferguson fight, oh my, that was the first fight I ever watched that I was like, oh, oh, God. And it just kept on going. Gaethje was just in the zone and picked his shots perfectly to finally get that TKO finish. Again, he finished him on the feet. And he was still standing, but, you know, Herb Dean just, it was enough. That was just another level. And I don't believe Khabib has that type of stand-up to battle with that. But, but, Gaethje does have no choice. Has to, he has to worry about the takedown. He has no choice but to worry about the takedown. Khabib is smart enough to throw those fake shots, to fake down, to come back up, or to fake those punches and go back down. And it's, it's, will Gaethje escape? After so many times, yeah, I believe the first few times he's going to escape no problem, just like Eli Quinta did. But after a while, if he gets his back to the fence, there might be a problem. But I believe Trevor Whitman and him have executed a great game plan to battle that. So for me, I think Khabib is easily going to have a harder time in the stand-up of trying to close the distance, trying to get Gaethje's back to the fence. Now, the ground game. Obviously, Khabib. Khabib all day. But Gaethje stand up all day. Who's going to win? Gaethje has a phenomenal wrestling, but Khabib at another level. Gaethje has a phenomenal stand-up, and Khabib, not so much. So, And he's been cracked before. Nothing to where he's completely rocked and dazed and wobbled. We have seen him get hit by Michael Johnson, but honestly, I, I know he got hit, and he respected it, but he wasn't out for the count. He wasn't wobbled. He just got hit and was like, okay, let me back up a little bit, reassess myself, and go back in. So... Have we seen Khabib really hurt? Not yet, so we don't know how he's going to react, but I believe Gaethje has a possibility to, to push that pace on the feet. But will he get stuck on the ground? We don't know. There's five rounds of work. Now, when it comes to the mentality, let's start off with Gaethje. That guy has literally stated so many times that he can he wants to die in a cage. That's his way of, of, of you know, the gladiator, Russell Crowe at the end of the movie. Like, that's him. Like, he wants to die in that place. He wants to die in the cage. That's, that's his, you know dome and we got cars starting up next to me hello so that again my luck for today but he mentally he even bets people five hundred dollars which myself which i never won five hundred dollars to drop him with the body shot if you drop him with the body shot here's 500 and he respects that he is that type of person he wants to lose because he's going to get better every single day obviously when it comes to that match he doesn't want to lose He's going to push forward and he's going to keep on going. He's never going to give up. No matter how many times he gets taken down, that's why I believe Khabib's going to have a hard time keeping him down for so long. Maybe if he's able to solidify a position, Khabib, again, at a different level. You know, you haven't seen Justin on his, on his, on his butt for so long. Maybe this might change. But mentally, Gaethje's just, I think he's in the zone right now. And finally, is at the, the, the place in his head where he, exactly where he needs to be especially with him and trevor just being in sync for this fight like they were for the tony ferguson i they practically seem unstoppable and i really do mean that khabib on the other hand he is unstoppable look at him in every single fight he is talking to you every single fight you know how mentally demoralizing that is you know how hard it is to talk during a fight it's exhausting like you you got to get worried about getting punched in the face but even on top, you got a control and the position. His conditioning is phenomenal. And I believe both their conditionings are going to be around the same. But Khabib, mentally, he is the strongest person ever. Again, you got that Russian persona, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I must break you type of thing. Like, that's just how he is. If he dies, he dies. I'm trying to think of any other line I can think of. Number one bullshit. Anyways, he just pushes. And he, he, he will never stop. He wants to win. He deserves the title shot. But my horrible impressions. But I believe he's at a handicap for this fight. You know, and and I say this for myself, repping, you know, my dad's shirt is my father passed last year and I had to fight three weeks later. I took the fight, but I didn't know how to grieve. You know, I, I and I mentally broke down. Now, it ruined me. And it still, it still messes me up mentally today, given I was able to fight back and, and push through and keep on going. But Khabib, on the other hand, is a whole different person, given I don't know what he's been through in his life. But for me, my dad was the reason why I started the sport. It was the only reason, really, I started the sport. And actually, one of the reasons was to beat him up. But he wanted to be a fighter. So I became a fighter, just like he wanted, and I pushed through. But when he died, 
it was like why do i fight i don't have a reason so it took me a while to find my place and now months later literally like actually a year later a year and a half or a year and a month later i'm back at it and i got to compete and and do well and now i just feel this huge relief off my shoulders but khabib on the other hand hasn't fought yet his father was also there every single day whether it was on the phone or there in person because that is his main coach that is his coach since he was wrestling bears at whatever freaking age the stuff they do in russia i don't i don't know but or Dagestan, should I say? Because people get into arguments. That's not Russia, or whatever. But that was that. That's his guy. That's his best friend. That's his mentor. That's his father. So mentally, and we saw at the weigh-ins. I know. I, I get it. Khabib has weight cutting issues. I remember when I met him, he was like 190, 195, dropping down to 155. I get it. I understand. I'm fat too. I'm Calvin Gaslam right now. No offense, Calvin, but you're bigger than me, and I look like you. So I'm messing up. I'm fucking up. Anyways, shout out nutrition it's it's hard my father was there on the phone every day but Khabib's was physically there so him having to endure all these different practices whether back home in Russia uh going to Abu Dhabi or different camps or even going to AKA I think primarily his camp was in Abu Dhabi for this one it gets tough and now not having your father there is is hard now we look at it as look at some of the some of the greats uh, uh, and I actually had a discussion with a friend about this earlier, and I think the most recognizable guy is Michael Jordan. His father died during the season, I believe during the playoffs, and then later on, they won an NBA final. Michael Jordan came back stronger, and I think he came back emotionally strong because he used those emotions in the game and won the championship for his father. Like, that was amazing. Then he finally broke, broke down after the championships. He was able to hold out that long. For me, I wasn't able to hold out that long. But Michael Jordan, no offense to myself, or really, I guess, I'm, I'm kind of weak. Their mindset was through the roof. You know, Michael Jordan's mindset, I mean, if you watch, you know, uh, um, I forgot what, what series is on Netflix and ESPN, like, dude, The Last Dance, he just pushed through, didn't care. Always wanted to be the best, no matter what was going on. And use that motivation to, to keep on pushing forward. Khabib, I know he's practically the same way, but you won't know until it happens. You react different when that person's not there anymore, especially in the moment. And we look at the Conor McGregor fight. Yeah, Khabib finished him. I get it. I get that argument. Khabib finished him. But in that fight, he was getting yelled at by his coach because his father wasn't there or wasn't able to be there. I don't know if he was sick or whatever the case may be. But he was getting yelled at because he wasn't following his father's game plan. He was so emotionally impacted in that fight. He just wanted to kill Conor. He jumped over the freaking fence after. But... He dropped Connor, wanted to do the stand-up fight, and was starting to get hit a little bit. Not super clean, was starting to get hit a little bit. And his coach is like, dude, take him down. Like, follow your father's game plan. And then, yes, he follows, follows his father's game plan, finishes the fight. But then after, jumps over the fence because of emotions. His emotions drove, drove him in that fight. Yes, he got to perform and everything was great, but it messed him up after. And, yes, you, you heard after his father was extremely disappointed. He apologized to his father. And maybe... Just maybe, and I hope, again, I'm not saying he's going in there 100% handicapped because I really hope he's not, but I feel like he is a little bit, you know. Uh, will he learn from that Conor McGregor situation not having his father there, or has this really impacted him to the point of, one, it's so emotionally, you know, draining to hear every single day, especially leading up to the fight, coronavirus, condolences to your father, condolences to your father, condolences to your father. When I was went to Worlds to compete for um, for Brave, that's all I had was condolences, which was amazing. But I'm being reminded every single day, and I wanted to hold out my emotions till after the fight. But sadly, it came out before, and I had panic attacks, anxiety attacks, and I, I had to pull out. Khabib, on the other hand, obviously hasn't pulled out, but we saw him having the, the weight cut issue, and, and with the sense of relief, I believe that does pay a huge toll. When you stress out, you hold your weight. And I, sadly, I know from experience, as you can tell with this chubby face, I'm always stressed out, especially with this damn day and filming in the car, but it is what it is. What do you think? Who do you think is going to win? For me, I'm going with my pick to Gaethje. And I'm not trying to take anything away from Gaethje. I do believe Khabib is kind of going in there with a little bit of a, a crutch, a little bit of a handicap. But I honestly do believe if this fight, both of them, 100%, everything normal, crowd and everything, especially with crowd, especially with crowd, I think Gaethje would still win this fight. It's just one of those feelings that I believe Gaethje can do it. He easily has a knockout power. He definitely has a stand-up game. And his wrestling, with the pedigree he has, 
He's wrestled all of his life. That's the longest reigning sport he's been been in. You know, he's been down on his butt for 17 seconds, and part of that was because of him. <laughs> Being too wild, now he's a little more transformed, a little more evolved when it comes to his stand-up. He's more patient. He's smarter. He's picking his shots, and he listens to his coach. And with Trevor Whitman by his side, I, I really have to give it to them. So my pick is Justin Gaethje. Guys, who do you believe is going to win? Khabib, Gaethje, how? I can see Gaethje winning by, by KO. I can't say what round. I'm just going to say, man, I'm, I'm either saying two or three. Um, man, I got to pick now. I'm, I'm going to go around two. I think I think Gaethje can, can solidify it. And I think because Khabib's going to really struggle, I think that second round he's either going to have to adapt or Gaethje's just going to get stronger and stronger. And I believe both of them get stronger as the rounds go on. So it's this is easily one of the most exciting fights in history in general of all promotions. Um, this is, is going to be one hell of a show. And because I've trained with them both, I love both of those guys. I've learned so much from them. I'm definitely 100% tuning in. Um, guys, who do you believe is going to win? And also, please, I'm going to be shooting way more videos now. So I'm definitely getting back to this. But um, I'm going to be shooting way more videos now. So guys, please like, subscribe, hit that notifications button to be notified every time I post a video. And I appreciate all the love and support, guys. This was another episode of Inside Team Shorty. And fun fact, a leading up to the fight documentary will be coming soon on this web channel, Inside Team Shorty. So please like, subscribe, notifications button. I appreciate all the love and support. What do you think of my in-depth analysis? Should I just stop? I should probably stop. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go and delete this right now. And uh, I appreciate it, guys. Stay safe. We can, we will. Together with our Team Shorty. Let's enjoy the fights.